Hello, yes, Nick Griffin's Reconquista Revaluated, if that's the right word, but it'll do for now. I've just listened to Nick Griffin on Hub Not Hate Spy Jack Sen's Resistance Radio, exactly Resistance Radio, what was it, Radio Free Europe, a Cold War station, freeing uh, European states from, you know, behind the Iron Cane, it reminds me of that, you know, who, who are you attracting with that Resistance Radio? Not serious people, cranks and weirdos. Yes, I'm sure the state can bum up Jackson's uh, subscription list where it's in the thousands now. It's it's spreading uh, like wildfire and everyone's coming on board. Yeah, they can do all that. And if it means paying you a wage outfit in it to keep it in this silly little playpen, they'll do it. Right, but anyway, that's another video in itself. Um, on Jackson's Resistance Radio, Nick Griffin, uh, raises some of the points uh, I uh, talk about my videos that young people today are not having kids because they're having such a good time that in the pleasure principle uh, they're obsessed now with hedonism and having a good time and yeah they're not having children because of it and I know they're not right I see it all around me but he also says in the same breath then if that's true they're having such a good time in this hedonistic society they live in they're not going to be bothered voting for real change, are they? Well, yes and no. And I'll tell you why it's a big no. 17.4 million people have just voted Brexit. And Brexit really was the National Front BMP policy of stop immigration, but with a respectable face. That's what that was. And Richard Edmonds made a good point a few months ago in a, uh, a talk he was giving at some meeting. It was a National Front one, I'm not sure. That David Cameron and Gordon Brown were elected uh, by about 11 million people. They were elected by 11 million people. Brexit was 17.4 million. That is very, very interesting and a good point by Richard Edmonds. So elections do work, Nick, right? No one's saying they're gonna usher us into power and they're gonna implement these radical changes we need. That's not happening. Let's close the door first. Let's get back in there let's start working let's start winning elections because if you want to push your traditionalism your homeschooling which i'm not against i'm just saying it's not going to work but if you want to push all that and having having more babies then get elected so you've got a you've got a voice with a bigger audience to listen to you instead of hope not hate spy jack send resistance radio bollocks right christ but anyway i'm not saying that we're going to be ushered into power through electoral politics what i'm saying it's a start like brexit right brexit is a start 17.4 million and that we can build on that and we can use them numbers those voters to um to put real uh patriots in office right of course we can right that's nonsense we can't but we're not going to do it with resistance radio are we or tommy robinson or some other Fucking state-led spy like Jack Sen. Christ, what's the matter with you? You see, Jack Sen, Nick, he's another one appeared from nowhere, right? Joins UKIP, leaves anti-Semitic, well, deemed anti-Semitic, tweets, uh, he, he tweets uh, Luciana Berger, the Jewish MP, that national action has also attacked, coincidence, of course. He gets kicked out of UKIP, taints UKIP with anti-Semitism, uses that as a springboard into British nationalism, and you fell for it. But I don't believe you have. I don't believe you're that stupid, especially what we've seen happening in the past few years with infiltration and whatever. I think you may just be using Jack Sen as a, a mouthpiece, a platform. I don't know. I don't know. But you, you need to get your act together. But anyway, you, you are right, right, in, in that, if they're having such a good time and they can't be bothered having babies, then they're not going to be bothered voting for real change. Well, yes and no. And Brexit is a big no. 17.4 million, Nick, that we can obviously organise into a real force. We can do, right? Whatever small electoral victories from it uh, come at first, it's a start. Closing the door is better than having it open. And this nonsense about all, you know, relocating to the countryside and homeschooling and having more children. It's fantasy world. Where's the evidence that's going to work? Where? There is no evidence. And this tiny little white spot surrounded by all the phlegm isn't going to last. It's going to be crushed and stopped, you know. And once Western civilization, assuming it does, goes down the pan, 
such a concept will be crushed within seconds. We've got to do this now that a fast ass and about. And also, how do we know Western civilization is going to go down the pan? Look at the South American despots and banana republics. They're still all going, aren't they? We, we've got to deal with the here and now. And also, I'll tell you what's very telling. The fact you've got Jack Sen accommodating you or keeping you in the little playpen, pushing this nonsense, speaks volumes. And even more so, and I hope you're watching, the spies that sent me your link, right? They want me to go along with this. They want it pushed because they know it's a load of fucking bollocks, right? Standing in elections is not the be-all and end-all of, you know... Uh, our victory that is needed right i know that i understand that but it's a bigger voice pushing our message which we can do we can win council seats again you know we can right and it's a bigger voice even if it's to push what you're pushing right it's it's a bigger voice for you instead of jack send resistance radio who's taking that serious bleeding no one okay thank you